What's up? My name is Mattia. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be walking you through the exact steps that I take when I go write an email for my clients or for my own personal brand. From the subject line all the way to the call to action. I'm going to be walking through the exact thought process that I follow in my head and that you can follow to get better at email copywriting in no time. So get comfy, get pen and paper, take notes and let's get straight into it. Okay guys, let's get into it. Let's press this email. Email crafting training. And in this case, we're gonna write an email for a copywriting coach, which could be me, for example. And so we're gonna write an email for a copywriting coach who is trying to get people to watch his free copywriting video on how to go from zero to 1K a month writing emails. And the avatar is, um, the avatar, yeah, is a male between 15 and 20 years old. So relatively young. He has tried multiple business models in the past. Nothing seemed to work. He tried SMMA, drop shipping. He lost a few thousands of dollars. And he's almost hopeless. This is a key word, hopeless. And he thinks he should just quit and go work to 9 to 5 or to college. So this is our avatar. This is what we want to do. We want to get him interested into copywriting and then get him to watch our free lead magnet, let's say. Okay? So let's get into it. First of all, we're, you already know, we're going to have to write the subject line. So um, let's see what we come up with. We should at least try to come up with five different subject lines that at the end we're going to choose between. So I went from zero to... Um, okay. In less than 60 days. The easiest way to make 60 a day. Yeah. I made how uh, to make one okay, type in words. Okay, you already see how these e like these subject lines are structured. We need to get them to open the email. There's nothing to do about it. So we need to get them curious. Mm -mm -mm. And we don't have to be too specific. We don't say how I went from zero to a thousand dollars a month with copywriting because they don't know yet about copywriting, right? We want to get them interested into copywriting and then get them to watch our training. What a lot of guys do, the, the mistake they do is they already spoiler what the email is going to be about. No, the point of a subject line is to get them to open the email. So why would you already spoiler them? Where you're going to tell them where you're going to like, and people who run offers sometimes, they just say, uh no like if they wanted to get them for example in a discord server um they in the subject line some i've seen some people saying join the discord server in a subject line join the discord server today network with people and join the discord server in the subject line how are gonna people going to open when they already know you're gonna pitch them something okay so let's write a couple more and then we start Guys, firmly this from zero to okay in twenty days. Okay, so we got five subject lines down. Now let's start with the hook. As we know, the email is structured in hook, into body, and then offer or call to action. In our case, it's a um, trust building email. It's what I like to call a valuable pitch email. We give value up front, or in general, the email is not to sell, but it's to, it's to provide value. That's why also the um, training is free. It's a free one hour um, copywriting video on how to go from zero to a thousand dollars a month with copywriting. So it, it's going to be an email that we write differently from a scenario in where we have to write a sales email and get as many clicks as possible. We want to build trust while getting people to open or to click on the link. Okay. Now before starting, let's niche down into three subject lines instead of five. Let's take off the two that we, that we don't like. The last one just doesn't have enough details, okay? And uh, now one more. 
I would say the fourth one because it's not uh, it's too it's longer and of course the longer it is it's not gonna fit in the preview text that there is when it, you will get the notification on the phone so this is a bit too long and at the same time the other three are simply better all right let's get into it okay first name getting to making the first k is the hardest one you'll ever they say the first k is the hardest one you will make and listen until a few months ago I will I would totally told me this listen a few months ago I would have probably agreed but with but now after but now that I have this but now that I discovered the best that I found this business model I'm not so sure about that wait what the hell are you talking about Okay, so this is something they're thinking in their head right now. The reader right now is thinking, wait, what the hell are you talking about? Of course it's hard to make your first thousand dollars online. I've tried a thousand different things and I haven't done it. Of course it's hard, okay? Look, if you really think making your first making first 1k online is that hard I, if right now I guarantee you that by the end of this email you have changed your mind of course it's a pro tip use Grammarly because it really helps you with the grammar and stuff you don't need to stay behind it because Grammarly is gonna do everything for you so of course plug uh, like the extension of Grammarly into, into your Google Docs when you write the emails because it really helps so let's read it. Hey, first name. They say the first K is the hardest one you'll ever make. And listen. And listen. A few months ago, I would have probably agreed. But now, but now that I found this business model, I'm not so sure about that. Wait, what the hell are you talking about? 
Uh, this question this question is missing something. I would say what you mean what do you mean? Of course it's hard. Alright, this one sounds better. What do you mean? Of course it's hard. Look, if right now you really think look, if right now you really think making a thousand dollars online is that hard, I guarantee you that by the end of this email you have changed your mind. I don't I don't want the comma right there. Even though Grammarly puts it, I feel like it sounds better without. I guarantee you that by the end of this email you have changed your mind. Yeah, I don't want the comma. Um Okay. See, I was, and a good way to go from the hook, and you're gonna see right now, a good way to go from the hook to the body is like with something like see, look, comma, listen, comma, something like that. It really helps you flow without getting the reader to notice that you went from a hook to the body. So here I'm gonna say see just six months like let's say four months ago ago I was in your exact same situation. I could and now we're gonna picture their image, what they're feeling right now. We're gonna need to find um, a, the situation where they're at. We're gonna paint the situation in which they are at right now, in which place, where position they are at right now in life. So, see, four months ago, I was in your exact same situation. I had tried and failed over six different business models. I had no high, no valuable skill under my belt, and I had less than zero dollars to invest. in my bank account I'm serious I was literally in debt lol okay well, that kind of, sounds kind of funny, right? We can, we remember we always want to sound natural. That's the most problem with the, the biggest problem with the, a lot of copywriters. They don't sound natural. They sound like uh, fucking ChatGPT or their email. Well, you need to sound natural. Like, look how natural this sound. I'm serious. Like, it's something that you could think, and if you think it naturally, just put it down. There's no point in not saying it. It's not gonna make the email worse if it doesn't. Fl as long as it flows, it's not gonna be worse. The problem is that by adding too much stuff, the email is gonna get too long. But as long as it flows, it's fine. Okay. So I had I. Uh, I tried and failed over six different business models, had no valuable skill under my belt, and had less than zero dollars in my bank account. I'm serious, I was literally in debt though. Debt. Oh. Actually, let's, let's write it like this, and we can write it like this. It's another way of writing like, you're saying lol right now. <clears throat> So, so, 
I'm sure and look and I know that by now you are probably wondering so how did you get out of there out of that that shithole it doesn't sound that bad the shithole <laughs> I mean it's the situation we were in either shithole it depends on the person you're writing this email for if it's for yourself and you sometimes cuss and you sometimes say some word that you shouldn't or something like that you can same. And you remember, our target audience, our avatar, are people between 15 and 20 years old. So they probably might use the word shithole in their life, and it's not going to be that crazy to hear a cuss word. While if you're writing these for a client, for example, and they never cuss, and you start cussing in their email, they're going to be not happy, let's say. They're probably not going to be happy, right? So and I know that by now you're probably wondering, so how... Did you get out of that shit hole? And uh, my my answer consists in two simple words. Email copywriting and now the biggest problem like i see a lot of people doing right now like they say email copywriting and then it starts saying uh i start like they start saying what it is they start listing the features of email copywriting you basically persuade the reader into doing this and then you persuade and you try to get the click but not not the not the sale but you try to get the click people don't give a shit people want to know You've made money with no copywriting. Okay, in how fast? How long did it take you? How hard is it? And how safe is it? And do I need money up front? These are the things that you, the human mind thinks. They don't give a shit of what copywriting is. If you tell them it's easy, it's safe, it's anybody can do it, and that you're gonna make money fast, and a lot of them, they don't give a shit what it is. They are gonna click on a link if you tell them, click here to learn how to do it. They don't care if instead of email copywriting, I would have said um, toilet, like a, name, a weird name, let's say toilet painting, online toilet painting. Let's say that here, instead of it saying email copywriting, I would have said online toilet cleaning, okay? Now, I'm not going to say, so you basically go on NFTs servers and you clean their shit and stuff like that. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say, this way, from starting from an absolute beginner, I went from zero to $1,000 a month in seven days. And uh, the steps are so simple that anybody can do it. This allowed me to have, to not, to buy myself the pair of Jordans that I wanted, Okay. You need to paint this picture. You don't, they don't want to hear the features of your stuff. They want to hear the benefits of your stuff. Always keep that in mind. I believe this is the biggest point of why some emails are literally ass. Because they write as if they were trying to sell it. We're not trying to sell it. We're just trying to get them curious enough to persuade them into clicking the fucking link at the end of the email. Okay? Now, let's go. Hmm email copywriting whether you've heard of it already or not we see we're not going to tell them the features now we're going to tell them the benefits all you need to know are the benefits <laughs> all you need to know is that uh in 17 days it took me only 70 
days to go from zero from minus zero from zero to that to my first one K of uh, not profit first one K no, this first one K of nine. And listen, I was as amazed as you right now when I realized that I tried that. Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. What you need to know is that it took me only 17 days to go from zero to my first thousand dollars online. And here we can put some capitals and say as a complete beginner. Here we could either say and listen or we could say look. We use look right here and we said and listen right here. I would say, look, as you are, when I saw those money come into into my Stripe account. Here, what we're doing, I'm going to tell you in a second. What we're doing right here is giving credible details. I'm not just saying, and I was as amazed as you are right now when I did it. No, I was as amazed as, as, amazed as you are right now when I've seen those money come into my Stripe account. How more real is that? How more realistic? If you are credible enough and you give enough details, and I always say this to my students inside the, the um, Jubis cave, I always say, if you are like giving enough details about what you did or something like that, people are gonna take that as credibility, as proof. Even though it's not actual proof, even though you didn't show them anything, but by being ultra specific, they're gonna think it's real, okay? So it's very important here. I didn't just say when I saw the, when I did it. I said when I saw this money, when I saw the money come into my Stripe account, okay? Here I will add a flow into. But um, now, how we can go? The question is how we can go from here to the call to action. Okay. And I would say, I would say something like, the truth is that the process is way, and the process is literally, um, and what I learned is that the process there is way simpler than it sounds. I made a video on it, something like that. So right now our goal, so this is the end of the body. We should try to get into the call to action in a way that flows. So let's see what we can come up, what we can come up with. Let's try it a little, a second. Hey, first name. Just a moment. <laughs> hey, first name. They say the first K is the hardest one you'll ever make. And listen, a few minutes ago, I would have probably agreed. But now that I found this business model, I'm not sure about that. What do you mean? Of course it's hard. Look, if right now you really think making a thousand dollars online is that hard, I guarantee you that by the end of this email, you'll have changed your mind. See, four months ago, I was in your exact same situation. I tried and failed over six different, six different business models, and I had, no, I had no valuable skill under my belt, and I had less than zero dollars in my bank account. I'm serious. I was literally in debt, lol. And I know that by now you're probably wondering, so how did, 
So how did you get out of the she hole? Question mark. And my answer consists in two simple words, email copywriting. Whether you've heard of it already or not, all you need to know is that it took me only 17 days. Uh, it got me from, I would say it got me. It got me from zero to my first uncle Ryan in only 17 days. Look at how we reworded the, the sentence and it sounds so much better. All we did was taking that part and putting it at the end of the sentence and it sounds so much better. You need to do tests with this stuff, guys, because look how a, a sentence is going to change the flow completely. Email copywriting. Whether you've heard of it or not, all you need to know is that it got me it got me from zero to my first a thousand dollars online in only 17 days all you need to know is that it, took, it got me from zero to 1k from zero to 1k online in only to 1k of profit in only 17 days as a complete beginner Look, I was as amazed as you are right now when I saw the money flow into my Stripe account. But all I can say, say is that it works. Um, for now, we, now we could play the card that we would like to tell them everything about copywriting in this email, but there's literally not enough time or we don't want to write a fucking essay. We're going to tell them something like that. And we're going to say, that's why I did a video on it. That's smart. Okay. We do, it doesn't have to feel like it's pitching. All we need to do is get them there. Any type of persuasion or any type of way, technique, you can get them to click. It works. Okay. It doesn't matter how you do it. The, what matters is that at the end of the day, the click rate that is there, okay? And we they're going to open the email because they say the first case, the hardest one you'll ever make, and they've never made a K, they're already going to open it, okay? The, the hook is good. Now we need to do a call to action. Um, but I can say that it works. But all I can say is that it works. And listen, I would like, I would love to ex, I wanted to explain, to give you the exact steps that you need to follow that I followed so that you can achieve the same achieve those results too to make it all in this email but I realized that you probably don't want to read 30 pages of email 30 pages For thirty, for ten thousand words, words, and now we're gonna put old now. Remember, we're Gen Z. Like people use that. The target audience always think about your avatar. Mao can work. I can even say. F, right? It's probably not necessary here, but you know what I'm saying. It means laughing my ass off. You don't know what I'm saying. But I realized that you probably realized 
that you probably don't want to read 17 and now what we're we gonna do here guess what we're gonna do we're gonna make it ultra specific 17,547 words so they think oh you already had already written this email and you decided to not give it to us to do this thing guys gotta use the freaking brain you got so 17,500 words now So I just recorded, so I thought it'd be easier for you if I simply, if I talked about it directly. It, it'd be easier for you if I talked about it instead. I talked about it on video instead. Mm -mm -mm. And now we're gonna put the call to action. We're not gonna say, so So here is what I'm telling you. Click here, no, we're going straight to the call to action. Click. We got them intrigued, we told them this, okay, now they're gonna buy, now they're gonna click. Click here. And discover the steps that, and discover how to go and discover how to go from zero, how to make your first thousand dollars a month in less than, and here it depends, yeah, in less than 17 days. And sometimes, you know what people fucking do? You know what they do? They put click here and watch the video. Like click here and go to the video. And like, it doesn't work. People don't want to go to the video. People want to discover how to go from 1K to, to go to 1K in less than 17 days. Like, it's so easy. Don't show the feature, show the benefits. And now, since it's free, we're not gonna say, and it's free. No, free, right here. Like this, actually. Boom. Boom. Click here and discover how to make one thousand. And uh, I don't like the discover doesn't sound there very well. We could say discover the steps that got me two thousand dollars in less than seventeen days, but it would be too long. And uh, I would just say and uh, go from zero to 1k a month in less than 17 days, in two weeks, two weeks. Discover, we could say discover how to go, no, and, and go from zero to 1k in two weeks, free, okay? Free is very important. Um, the, now we're gonna add ultra specificity ultra specificity okay we're gonna be ultra specific we're gonna say how long the video is uh, so we're gonna say 17 actually let's say 21.47 47 minutes of pure value the where I reveal the in, uh, all of where I give you every st 
something you need to in, in order to make it make it now what we're gonna do we're gonna get back to the hook now first name let me ask you again uh ooh, 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 ooh. are you sure the first are you still so sure the first k is the hardest k you ever make Boom. Sign off. Boom. Wrote the email. Got the email in like 30 minutes. Boom. $60 right there. Because these emails is going to get people to the point. This email is going to get people to where we wanted to go. They're going to click. Now let's read it all again to see how it flows before choosing which one of these three should be used but i already know probably what i want to use hey first name they say the first k is the hardest one you'll ever make is the hardest k i'll say k whatever made the first k is oh yeah they say the first k is the hardest k you'll ever make and listen a few months ago i would have probably agreed but now that i found this business model i'm not so sure, sure about that what do you mean of course it's hard look if right now you really think making a thousand dollars a month online is that hard, I guarantee you that by the end of this email you'll have changed your mind. Um, see, four months ago I was in your exact same situation. I tried and failed over six different business models. I had no valuable skill. Yeah, no valuable skill under my belt, and I had less than zero dollars in my bank. I'm serious. I was literally in debt. Lol, and I know that. By now, you're probably wondering, so how did you get out of that shithole? And my answer consists in two simple words. Email, copywriting. Whether you've heard of it or already or not, all you need to know is that it got me from 0 to 1K to 1K of profit in only 17 days. As a complete beginner, look, I was as amazed as you are right now when I saw that money flow into my Stripe account. But all I can say is that it works. And listen. I wanted to I wanted to give you the exact steps that I followed to make it that I followed give you all all the steps that I follow to make it to uh, To achieve, to achieve that in this email, I wanted to give you all the steps that I follow to achieve that in this email, in this, in this email. But I realized that you probably don't want to read the seventeen thousand five hundred and forty-seven words now, so I thought it'd be easier for you if I talked about it on a video instead. Click here and go from zero to one k a month in two weeks, in only I'm gonna say only two weeks free 21.47 minutes of pure value where i give you everything you need in order to make it now first name let me ask you again are you still so sure that the first case the hardest case you'll ever make guys telling you this is a good fucking email this is a good fucking email we were not salesy we're giving them something for free so we're building trust in the community they had no hope, okay? They had tried multiple stuff and had no hope. So what did we do? We tell them that we were in their exact situation. Here, this is the point. I tried and failed over six different business models. We tried to say things that they already went through or they're, they're going through right now so that they can relate with us and they feel more connected with the things we're about to say. It's very important that they feel like related to what you're saying. They feel like, it's related to their life. It's actually how it is in their life right now. 
okay? So I tried and failed over 60 different business models. I had no valuable skin under my belt. I had less than $0 in my bank right now. Actually, we even say that we are worse than they are right now because maybe they have some some dollars in their, in their bank account. But the thing is, what we're trying to tell them right now is that if we've made it in a situation which is worse than their situation, they're, they can make it for sure. So their hope, like their, and as you know, humans are insecure by human nature. They are insecure. They don't know if they can make it in their situation. But by telling them that we've made it in a worse situation than they are right now, in a shithole, they're gonna be more comfortable. Uh, they're gonna feel like it might be the right solution. And which means that from hopeless, they become with, they go with hope. And hope is a very important factor when it comes to clicking a link. I guarantee you. So here you look as also we've used this uh, lol thing, lmao. Um, we use the, um, the brackets a few times. And these are also, and these are all techniques that I use to make the email flow naturally. To make the email flow naturally. Because most people write like robots. They don't put this stuff. This that might be a funny stuff or maybe it's not funny, but it flows. It doesn't break the flow and it sounds natural. It sounds like a human has written that. Like, you think JetGPT is going to write lol? JetGPT and writing shit, I'm telling you right now. You need to make it, sound, make it sound natural. So, for example, and I think the best line of this entire copy is the one of the Stripe account because it's so detailed. Look, I was as amazed as you are right now when I saw that money flow. Look at, listen to the words that I'm using flow not to come or go in my bank in my stripe account no right now when i saw that money flow flowing easily something easy like water is flowing into my stripe account and we've been detailed we didn't say bank account we said stripe account it's not, or you could have said paypal account okay but all i can say is that it works and listen i wanted to give you all the steps that i followed to achieve that in this email but I realized that you probably don't want to hear seven. You don't probably want to hear read seventeen thousand five hundred. Look at the specificity. Look at how specific we are. Ultra specific. They're gonna think it's real. And right now, how did we go from the body to the to the call to action? By almost saying, I wanted to make you this big favor, but I just thought it'd be an even bigger favor to do this for you. So go check it out. We're basically telling you, I'm giving you this you for free, absolutely free. Go check it out, etc. Without being salesy. If we said, so I've put together a guide with everything that you need to know. Come here and check it out. It sounds salesy. It's what everybody does. This is different. This is unique. Their brain is not going to think this is something I've seen already. It's something unique. But then here, 21.47 minutes. We're already telling them how long it is so they know what to expect. And they also, by saying this number is so specific, that that's going to be the number, okay, of pure value. And this is actually another big technique. To close the email, sometimes we get back to the hook. How did we open it? Okay, we can close it in a similar way. Getting back to how we open the email is a very elegant way to close an email because it's like we it, it's the proof that we've been able to keep the same topic for the entire email. But now... Let's decide what subject line we should use. Now, how the easiest way to make $60 a day new. Did we ever talk in this email about making $60 a day? No. How to make $1,000 a month typing words or how I went from zero to $1K a month in 17 days. These both, both of them work. Okay. They're both good subject lines. But what do you feel, what do you feel like is more relatable to this email? To me, the first one, because we've literally said the 17 days, we've literally talked about the 17 days, and we talked about how to go from zero to 1K. In the other one, we say just 1K, and we say typing words, but here, we didn't say what email copywriting is, so it could be literally cleaning a toilet. All we told them were the benefits. So our subject line, as a side effect, as a consequence, is this. Now, what do you think? I think it's a good fucking email. I think uh, you learned a lot today. If you followed all the way to this point, I'm sure 100% you learned a lot. 
and the next email you're gonna write is gonna be better. I hope you found this helpful, much more value coming. So subscribe to the channel, smash the like, leave a comment if you liked it, join my Discord community, Discord server, if you need some help with your emails, I'm always there, and there are some great copywriters in there ready to help you. And yeah, see you in the next video.